What's up guys? Welcome to your very first tutorial from Curious Class. This is the introduction to multimedia class, particularly design with Adobe Illustrator. My name is Mike and I'm going to be your tutor. So we are going to take a quick look at the Adobe Illustrator interface. First we have our menu bar at the top here where you have your file, basically where you can create a new file. So most of anyone we are going to as you're going to work in subsequent tutorials or you need to create a new file, we come here, file, a new project or a new file, we come here to file and then new. And the shortcut is control N. And you need to get conversant to the shortcuts very quickly because you're going to be using them a lot. And then we have edit object type, select effect, view window, and help. Most of which we'll look at subs in subsequent videos. Over here we also have the tools panel. And most of the tools you're going to use for our work in Illustrator, you're going to get from here. And then we also have the Options and Properties panel also here, which we're also going to look at subsequently. And then there's a last menu that normally pops up at the top here, which is like a control panel, which we'll look at. And that depends on which, which options or which tools we are using. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to learn how to set up a new project or to set up our project for it for our work but before that let's take a look at our workspaces now basically a workspace is an arrangement of a software most almost all the adobe pro um, software have this option for a workspace so that based on what you're you're doing you're able to set the arrangement of the panels and the tools to suit what you're doing so for instance if you are going to be working with something that's got to do with um typography which is a lot of type or text you're going to have this type of layout if you're working on a project that's web related you can have this layout and so on and so forth we're going to stick with essentials for now so to create a new file we come here file new or use a shortcut Control n like i said earlier and then you're going to have a window pop up and then you're going to title your project so let's say my first design okay now the artboards gives us the ability to have a number of let's say working tables let's say that's in, in practical terms like a table that you can work on okay so you can have so many tables you can work on like tables in real life actually let's say if you're in a, you're in a shop or a workshop you can have a number of tables which you can put your work on to work on so that's something similar the same my concept here so on artboard we'll stick with one for now and then the size um, you're going to put in our custom size you're going to set our units of measurement first to pixels and we're going to set our size to 1000 pixels by for the width and then 1000 pixels for the height we're going to leave all the other items the same for now we're going to click ok so one thing i like to do anytime i start with a project first is to quickly save it up so by doing that you can come here to file save as or save and we just save it as an illustrator file as you can see here so we save that as my first design and then we save that and then you click ok ok great so we have our artboard here what you can see here this white whole white space is your artboard and we're going to do we're just going to take a quick look at a few tools starting with the, with the text tool which is the type tool sorry which is the shortcut is t and then also the selection tool which is this you have here shortcuts v okay so what we're going to do basically is to also use the rectangle tool to create a quick rectangle now on the tools panel here the selection tool is mostly used to move items around or to select particular items and move them around and the text the type tool is used to create a new to type to add type to our work and then the the rectangle tool allows us to create a rectangle and then also has a number of shapes which you could create now anytime you see a tool in illustrator that has this sort of pointy thing at the corner it means that it has additional options so what you can do is you can click and hold to see the additional options so you can um, select the option you want i also discovered something the other time that if you if you held the alt key and clicked on it it will change or cycle through the additional options it has so by holding alt and clicking it can cycle through the options for now i'm going to use the rectangle tool and for the colors here now the color here is a fill color 
which fills the inside of whatever you're going to create whatever object you're going to create and the stroke color is the color for the outline of whatever you're going to create for now we don't want the stroke color so you click on this and click on none to turn off the stroke color and then we're going to click here we're going to set the width of a rectangle to 1000 by 1000 and then we're going to click OK so in order to move the box there are two ways you can just click on the selection tool here and then drag it into position now let's say you didn't you didn't we wanted to create another box or you don't you're not ready to move out of this box yet what you could quickly do is while still on the rectangle tool let's go back Control z is to undo to take you back to the first step all you could do is hold Control, the Control key and then drag here in place and then when you're done let go of the control key okay good so now that we have this here we're going to change the color by picking up a random color from here let's pick something i love blue so let's pick something bluish okay good and then we're going to add, add a little bit of a text to it just to show you how things work okay so once you have your your, your, your rectangle tool in place just take your text tool and then type whatever you want to type here i'm going to type and we'll cheers exclamation mark now to change the color of this you could just select everything like this or press ctrl a whichever way and then for instance i want a white color and i set that here and to change the size of that i can come here and increase this right up from here cheers that's quite okay and then I'm going to change my type to something more simple by just click on the drop down here okay or you could you can cycle through by clicking here and then just going through okay so Korean new doesn't look bad not my favorite <laughs> font though or typeface but uh, let me see we look for something more appealing I don't normally do this like cycling through this but just for the purposes of this demonstration I'm doing this it's not the best way to go about choosing your your type for your work you know but I'm just doing this to okay let me just go back and come here mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I think I like what I had up there. Let me see, Cobell. Okay, this is fine by me. So what I'm going to do, I notice the box didn't cover the bottom part properly. So all I do is you click on it, and then use your down arrow key to move it down so that it fits properly. Okay, so now that I have the text here, what I can do, or something that the simple thing I want to do is just position properly in the middle. Now to do that, all I need to do is to click on the text first and while holding shift click on the rectangle behind so this selects both the text and the rectangle and you let go of your shift and now click only on the rectangle behind to use that as our reference or as our guide and then now I'm going to click on this now what does this does is to distribute the content horizontally so I'm going to click on this put it in the middle and I'm going to click on this to vertical distribute and put that in the middle and I'm probably going to change up the color of okay probably I could change this up um, okay let me just do a little bit of design here I'm going to pick up uh, something bubbly happy and then cheers okay I didn't want that for my text but because I selected it first so I use the rectangle to click outside first and then I use the rectangle to, sorry I use the selection tool and I'm going to use the rectangle to first I'll pick my color something bubbly or fun orangey okay cool then I'm going to draw a tiny box over the middle part of the chairs doesn't really make sense but I'm just going to do it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the selection tool I'm going to right click and say arrange and then bring send backwards good so i have cheers 
probably I could change up the color of this come to my color guide and then I'll pick probably something like this cool I think I like how this looks okay so this is just to introduce us with us with a few of the tools the rectangle tool the selection tool um, and then also the, the we can take a look at Okay, we'll take a look at the gradient tool with the subsequent examples. So basically, what we're going to do in the subsequent tutorials is to take a look at a particular project where we're going to come up with, a, a, we're going to focus on, to, to get conversant with Adobe Illustrator, we're going to focus on logo design to start with. So you're going to learn about some of the techniques in logo design, and we're going to learn about typography, we're going to learn about how to create shapes in Illustrator, we're going to work on a sample project and design a logo for a particular client that we come up with and then we're going to explore more of the tools we're going to learn about the pathfinder tool the slice tool we're going to learn about the shape builder tool we're going to try a lot of things we're going to learn about the color swatches about layers about um the gradient tool and we're going to have a lot of so the subsequent tutorials are going to cover everything we've studied so far in class as well and also build up on that so thank you for watching and please do want to subscribe also like our page curious class on facebook curious class on instagram curious class on twitter follow us okay.